Hello, today I'm gonna to show you a fast and simple way to stylize your images all inside a Lightroom, so stick around. Hello, my name is Keith Fuller from k2focus.com. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Facebook, or on my website, and all the links are down below. So if you're anything like me, you photograph a lot of weddings and events, which means you're left with hundreds or even thousands of images that you have to go through. And Lightroom's a great tool to use to just do basic edits, but a lot of times you want to add a little bit of style to your images. And unfortunately, you can't really do that inside of Photoshop with you know hundreds or thousands of images. It's going to take a lot of time, and you're going to be left with massive file sizes. So you know what do you do? Luckily, there's a really simple trick that you can do inside of Lightroom, and all you have to do is go into the channels, and you go to the blue channel. And um, there's a little trick I'm going to show you, and you know it might not be the image style that you want every single time, but I can pretty much guarantee you that it's going to at least look pretty good on just about any image that you use. So um, let me get started, and I'll show you how to do it. All right, here we are in Lightroom, and I grabbed a variety of images so you can sort of see the versatility of this. And I'd like to say that. Um, and this might be a little bit difficult to see on YouTube, so all of these images are on my website and I have a link in the description below. So here's the first image and you can see uh, everything's been done to it. It's, it's finished to me. Uh, the exposure, contrast, highlights, everything's kind of been set and you have a finished image here. But the, the issue is what if you want to add a little bit of style to it? And I think what a lot of people tend to do is maybe they go into clarity and they do something crazy like that. Um, you know, I don't like how that looks. Maybe you do. Uh, maybe they'll go into the saturation and adjust all these things. But most commonly, I think people go to split toning. And while split toning can be great, it's a little bit difficult sometimes. I mean, if you look at it, it's, it's five different sliders that you have to mess with. I mean, you have to find the right hue, maybe the right saturation um, of that, and then shadows, highlights, and then, you know, balance. And, you know, maybe you'll find something good, but uh, it just takes a lot of work. So if you want something that's really quick and really simple and you can, you know, it's, it's going to look good almost every single time, uh, a quick trick is to just go right here in your tone curve and go to the blue channel. You, know, you can click right here and typically it's on RGB, but you can go to the blue channel right there. So if you take this black point right here and you just simply drag it up, you can see what's going on. It's just giving a nice blue hue to the whole image. It's affecting the darks more than it is the lights. And uh, it also gives a nice faded look to the image. So here it is without that. And here it is with it. It's a very subtle change, but you know it's, it's pleasing to the eye. And you might be thinking, well, it's a cold looking image and uh, there's blue in the dresses, so it just works on this one. Maybe it's not gonna work on others. So I grabbed this image right here and I'm going to let it load up. Sorry, it's going a little slow. Uh, you can see it's mostly reds and greens. There's hardly any blue in this image. So if I go down to the, uh, the blue right here in the hue and I change it back and forth, you know, nothing's really going on. There's hardly any blue in here. However, if you go back to the blue channel, like you did in the previous one, you can see I dragged it up. It's only at about 7.5%. It still has a very pleasing look to the image. It's very subtle, but it still looks good. Um, here's a portrait, a professional looking portrait, and the same thing. Here it is uh, beforehand, and then here it is with the, uh, the blue tint added to it. And you can see before and after. And like I said, if this is difficult to see, all these images are gonna be on, on my website. Um, so you might be curious as to like what exactly is going on here. So I made this document in Photoshop, and this is pure black, this is 50% gray, and this is white. And the same thing down here, it's pure black to pure white. So on top of this, I have a curved adjustment layer, and it's in the blue channel, same thing as in Lightroom. And I'm gonna drag this up pretty high. I'm gonna go, you know, 25% up there. Um, and you can see what's going on is that now the darkest color is no longer black. It can't be black anymore. This right here is the darkest color that you can actually have. And you can see it sort of tapers off down here until you get to white, and white is totally unchanged. So um, if you follow this right here, this RGB in the info panel, you can see what I'm talking about. Um, white is made up of, in RGB mode, it's the maximum of all the colors. So if you add blue to it, you can't really do anything to it. It's still just gonna be white. However, if you look down here, um, 
at the black, you can see when I look, look over here, when I go to black, it's all zeros. But when I go up here, the blue channel, um, there's values in it. So you can't have black when you do this. Um, let me go back into here and you can, so typically you might not want to do it that much. Um, you know, it just depends on the image. You can drag this down. I mean, I typically keep it, you know, right about here. And if I zoom in, you can see what's going on. This is now the darkest color that you can have in the image. So let me go back into Lightroom and um, I'll just show you how this looks on a couple other pictures. So here's one that's a little bit more stylized and I think that uh, you, can, you can really push it in images like this. So you, you can see what I'm talking about. Here it's up to about 12.5%. There it is with nothing. Um, here's another image. There's hardly any you know, blue in here. It's mostly greens, oranges, and reds. But it's still, uh, if, if you put it on, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give a nice pleasing look to the image. So you can see what I did right here. I sort of uh, blocked it from going up in the, in the brighter areas. That's kind of the skin tones. And it's only affecting the, the darker tones. So you can see before and after. Here's another image, and it works really well on uh, street photography images because you, know, you, you can stylize those quite a bit more. Uh, here it is with the blue, and there it is without. So once again, with and without. Here's a, uh, another wedding image, and there it is without. I'll let it load. And there it is with. Once again, without and with. Here's another wedding photo, and there it is with the blue tint added. And there it is without. You know, it's very subtle, but you can see it. Now, black and white images, I think this works really, really well with. Uh, let me turn this off here for a second so you can see what I'm talking about. Here it is, just pure black and white. And there it is with that blue tint added. You know, it's very subtle, but it, it it's definitely noticeable. And lastly, I'm going to show you this one right here because this is a perfect opportunity to use this. Um, I recently did an event and it was a lot of portraits. So at the end of it, you know, you just have hundreds and hundreds that you want to go through. And here it is with nothing done. To, I mean, the, the image is edited, but I just wanted to add a little bit more. And, you know, like I said, you can't go into Photoshop with all these images. So what are you going to do? Um, I just added a slight blue tint to it and it's about 4%. And you can see without it and with it. It just adds that little bit of extra style to the picture that makes it stand out a little bit more. And you can easily just highlight all the pictures and just apply this to every single one of them. And you really don't have to do anything else after that. So like I said before, all these images and more are going to be on my website. And you can take a look in the description down below there and there's a link to it. And if you have any other questions or anything about this that you'd like to know more about, please just let me know in the comments section and I'll see you next time. Thanks.